have already prepared rice one cup of rice because I don't want to eat rice I'm trying to lose weight <laughs> so my husband share and Emma share and I prepared pumpkin potatoes and broccoli so I will time it to be ready by 5.40 and probably around 5.15 I will put the salmon in so this is the salmon Unfortunately, this is all in Chinese. So let me just translate it for you. Uh, the first, it's like special cooking or exquisite cooking. I don't know how to translate that. And then next is fast cooking, followed by porridge, followed by keep warm. And then the last, uh, I don't even know what that means. Maybe it's like to set your own timer. So normally I use this option, fast cooking. And then the third porridge, you can actually prolong the duration. You see this? This is hour and minutes. And if you press it, it will change. Okay, so let me just go back to fast cooking. It takes 40 minutes here. But I like to use the scheduler. So right now, it's 4.30, but I don't want it to start cooking now. So I usually press the scheduler and set it to 5.40. And then press the start button and it will start. I always make the mistake of pressing this button. This is the choose to toggle the menu here and to cancel. So. Yeah, you should hear that sound and this button, this should light up and that means that it's started the scheduler to start cooking and it will be ready by 5.40, okay? A little bit clumsy. So this is how it looks like. Ta-da! So just now I put in the salmon, right? Now it's cooked. And what I like to do is I have this uh, teriyaki sauce, is the thick kind. So I just like to pour it in like this. So this is the rice. It has a little bit of orange color from the pumpkin and let me just show you this is the type of rice that I'm using it is the short grain kind of rice you can buy the Japanese type or the Taiwanese type of short grain rice this is the salmon and right now I'm preparing the portion for Emma See that the rice cooker is not much different from any rice cooker, just that it is slightly smaller, I feel, compared to my old rice cooker. But because of the app function, I think it's just additional options for me. So, yeah, this is Emma's meal. Mmm! Mm. I love cooker. I love cooker. Mama, I love cooker. So I just wanted to show you what's inside this app. You have the four functions that are similar to the one on a rice cooker. So inside the rice, you have the option to change the taste curve. For example, you want it to be soft, moderate, rigid, or you can customize. Yeah, you can customize the hardness, 80%, 0%. And you can set the timing that you want to start eating so that it will be ready for you and quick rice it takes about 40 minutes and it will automatically keep warm as I was saying that the good thing about using an app is that if you're leaving work at 7 o'clock and you're reaching home at 8 you just got to keep you just got to wash your rice Cut up the vegetable, put it in, and 
at 7 o'clock, just before you leave work, just hit the start button and this will start cooking. And when you reach home, everything will be ready for you. So they do have other options like porridge, warm up the rice, and you can make cake. <laughs> I'm not sure about that because I'm not very good in all this cooking stuff so I didn't try all this. So I can only tell you about like rice and quick rice. I didn't even try porridge. But yeah, the standard function, rice, quick rice and warm up rice. So far I find it to be very reliable, very easy to wash. The pot itself is uh, non-stick and all this can be taken out to the wash. So if you take this out, you'll be able to fill up the rice up to 5 cups. But with this strainer, I would say 2 cups of rice and nothing more than 2 and a half. I just washed all the parts and I wanted to show you that this thing, you can take it out and wash and this as well. It has a little bit of water so uh, if you want to close it, make sure it's dry. This part, it traps water, so make sure you drain it off. And I also wash this together with this. I find that this white thing, it stains easily. And it came with two different scoops. One is a deep scoop, one is a flat scoop. Those are very good quality. And this is the pot. It's extremely good quality, non-stick. And I'm always very careful when I wash this pot I will use like the sponge and yeah so far it's quite easy and I'll say that most rice cooker has this non-stick kind of uh, pot so uh, nothing to be surprised about but overall the value of this is about a hundred and ten dollars but because I had a fifty dollars voucher from Great Eastern I only paid like fifty plus for this rice cooker in my old rice cooker, it's about 200 odd dollars, but it's not a smart rice cooker. So I find that, you know, for like a hundred dollars rice cooker, it's very, very good and it has the app function. So yeah, I highly recommend this. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section and I will see you in the next video. Bye.